Hello friends, this video on solid states part 15 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let's see how can we derive the structure, I mean the formula of a compound by knowing the fact what kind of packing it is. See we know that the particles are clo closely packed in the two structure only, right? We have known that. One is CCP, closed pack structure. Uh, SCP, hexagonal closed pack structure, right? And there are two types of void. We have octahedral void and we have tetrahedral void. Correct. And we know that the number of octahedral void is nothing but the number of closed pack particles. Is n number of tetrahedral void is twice the number of closed pack particles. That is one we know, and we know that in ionic solids, the bigger ions, the bigger ions, and mostly anions. So in this case, is anions. The bigger ions, this is mostly anions. I can say the mostly anions. They, for example, in this case, it is Cl minus, right? Anions is nothing but a negative ion, the one with the negative charge. So Cl minus will occupy the lattice points. These are my lattice points, right? So the bigger ions, mostly the anions, will occupy the lattice point, and the smaller ones will be occupied by the voids. For example, if you see, this is my Na plus. The smaller ones are occupied by the voids. Correct? So here also if you see. This is how it is. Yeah. This is if you see the structure, this is what exactly I'm showing it here. The green ones on the corners. Or I made some mistake. I think I should have yeah the the green ones in the corners and they are on the centers also here, right? So uh, the lattice points are uh, occupied by the one their bigger ones and generally the anions occupy the lattice sites and the cations occupy the voids. These are my voids and these are octahedral voids and tetrahedral voids actually. I'll show you which one is octahedral void because this guy if you see this is my octahedral. Void. Right, and there are some tetrahedral voids also. So, based on that, we can actually find the formula of a compound. Correct, and please note the tetrahedral voids are smaller than octahedral void. Tetrahedral, if it is uh, of this size, and octahedral will be of this size, right? So, this is bigger size. So, then if the my cations are very small, they generally occupy tetrahedral voids. If they are bigger, they occupy octahedral voids. So percentage of the void occupancy can actually derive the formula of the compound. And please note, not all, not all voids are filled. Not all tetrahedrals and octahedral voids are filled. Some are empty also. So based on that percentage, we can actually find the formula of the compound, right? The figure is exactly the same as this, only here the voids are not shown. So with this, I can actually take an example to derive the formula of a compound knowing these facts, the kind of packing we have, the octahedral and tetrahedral voids we have, and we know that my anions, the, normally the bigger ones, for example, in this case Cl minus, they occupy the lattice sites, these are my lattice sites. And these are voids, and my smaller ones occupy the voids. Two kind of void we have: octahedral and tetrahedral void. Let's see one example. A compound is formed by two elements x and y. Atoms of element y has anions, makes CCP, and those of x occupy octahedral voids. That means 
the question says that it is closed pack structure this is my closed pack structure my y occupies all these uh, lattice sites so these are my y all these are y actually correct and x will occupy the voids here right octahedral voids x will occupy all the voids here somewhere here somewhere here it will be x now we define the formula of compound now let's see in this ccp structure how many x are there number of x is how many so in this we have seen that there are four 3 from this face because 6 into 1 by 2 and 8 into 1 by 8 is 3 plus 1 4 so number of x is 4 correct sorry number of y is number of y because y is the one which is occupying the lattice side so number of y is 4 correct so what is the number of x number of x atoms number of x atoms nothing but number of octahedral voids because it says it occupies all octahedral voids please note it occupies all octahedral octahedral voids so number of x is nothing but number of octahedral voids correct and what is the number of octahedral voids in this case number of octahedral voids nothing but the number of atoms that is 4 we have seen in case of ccp so number of x is 4 number of y is 4 so x is to y ratio is how much 4 is to 4 that is nothing but 1 is to 1 so the formula of compound is xy why because the number of x atom is equal to number of y atoms so with that i can find the formula of the compound correct what we have done so we know that the number of y in this case is 4 that's the closed structure the number of x is nothing but the number of octahedral voids because x occupies all the octahedral voids there is nothing but 4 here because that is nothing but the number of atoms so x by y ratio is 1 is 2 so the question says atoms of element b forms hcp lattice and a occupies Two third of tetrahedral void. Please note, not all the tetrahedral void, only two third. We have to find the formula. So let's see this. So we have B. This forms the lattice. All these one in the reds are B actually. When these are all B. Correct. And A is somewhere in the void here, here, here. There are some voids here, right? A is somewhere in the void. so number of b is what here in this case we have 4 but let's assume is to be x we will try to solve in a different pattern from the earlier example so this is x number of a will be what how much number of a is nothing but 2 by 3 of tetrahedral voids correct that is nothing but 2 by 3 into tetrahedral void will be how much 2x it is said that if the number of atom is x the number of tetrahedral void is 2x that is nothing but 4 by 3x now let's find the ratio of a is to b that is nothing but 4 by 3x is to x because a is 4 by 3x and b is x and that is nothing but 4 is to 3 so the formula will be a4 b3 because the number of atom of a is 4 and b is 3 so that is my formula so i took x just to show you that we can just find the formula by no a uh, general number also you don't need to say that it is 4 thank you 
Visit examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online tests, get pre-study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.